Top state leaders say they've nailed a deal on new tax cuts, inching them closer to finalizing the state budget. They're hoping to vote on a compromise plan sometime in August. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the legislative building with some of the remaining sticking points. Laura? Deb, you know, the budget was due July 1st, but legislative leaders have been deadlocked over proposed tax cuts and some other issues. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today, House Speaker Tim Moore and Senate Leader Phil Berger said they have reached a deal on those proposed tax cuts, uh, but they wouldn't give us any details on that. We'll find out, I guess, in a couple of weeks. But in the meantime, there's still a lot of other differences to be worked out. North Carolina's personal and corporate income tax rates are already scheduled to decrease slightly over the next four years. Senate leaders wanted to speed up that process and cut taxes even further, but House leaders worried the cuts might be too deep and could leave the state in a financial bind. House Speaker Tim Moore said they have agreed to additional tax cuts, but they'll depend on future revenue levels. If the economy cools and the state doesn't bring in enough money, the next round of scheduled tax cuts will be put on hold. And I think it's something that represents uh, a continued path of reducing taxes in North Carolina, but having appropriate safeguards in place through the form of triggers to make sure that North Carolina doesn't get in a situation where we would have a shortfall. Moore is hoping for a budget vote the week after next. One thing he says will not be included, new ferry tolls. The Senate wanted to require the Department of Transportation to put a toll on every ferry in the state. No ferry tolls in the budget, uh, made that very clear. Uh, no ferry tolls. Really? Senate leader Phil Berger did not agree with some of the things Moore told reporters, and he was less optimistic about how soon they'll be ready to vote. Really isn't the, the, the differences between the House and the Senate. It's just the sheer number of things we've got to work our way through. One of those issues is gambling, casino, and video lottery gaming. Berger and Moore haven't yet decided whether those will be in the budget. Now, once they complete this deal, they still have to send it to Democratic Governor Roy Cooper for his signature. Uh, Berger said today that they have not been consulting with the governor as they've been going through this process. So a potential veto and a potential veto override could add yet a couple more weeks onto this already delayed budget. Deb? Still going. Yeah. Laura Leslie, live for us in Raleigh. Thank you, Laura.